An unrelenting onslaught of eye-popping visuals, ear-bursting soundscapes, and mind-melting action makes Signy the vanguard for the next generation of shoot-'em-ups. Outgunned, outmanned, and out on your own, plunge into a sky full of hell and a last-ditch battle for survival. Signy bills itself as the next generation of shoot-'em-ups, promising eye-popping visuals and mind-melting action, but does it deliver on these lofty claims, or is it just all flash and no substance? Let's find out! First off, the visuals. This game is gorgeous. The developers weren't kidding when they said it was eye-popping. Every frame is a feast for the eyes, with stunning neon landscapes, intricate enemy designs, and explosions that would make Michael Bay jealous. It's clear that a ton of work went into the art direction, and it absolutely pays off. The audio doesn't slouch either. The orchestral score is epic and immersive, perfectly complementing the on-screen chaos. Sound design is top-notch, with every laser blast and explosion packing a satisfying bunch. But let's get to the meat of the matter, the gameplay. Signy is, at its core, a bullet hell shooter, and when I say hell, I mean it. This game throws more projectors at you than a baseball pitch machine on steroids. It's intense, it's challenging, and at times, it can be downright frustrating. One of the game's unique features is the ability to root power between your shields and weapons on the fly. It's an interesting mechanic that adds a layer of strategy to the frantic shooting. Do you beef up your defenses to other the storm of bullets, or do you go all out on offensive to take down the enemies faster? It's a cool idea, but in practice, it can feel a bit clunky, especially when you try to dodge a screen full of projectiles. And here's the elephant in the room. The difficulty. Signy doesn't pull any punches. Even on the easiest setting, you're in for a serious challenge. The game defaults to medium difficulty, which is a bit of a head scratcher. Without any upgrades, some enemies and bosses are practically unbeatable at this level. It feels like the developers are trying to push players towards the grind, which brings us to our next point. The upgrade system in Signy is, well, well, it's a mixed bag. You collect credits to upgrade your ship, but here's the kicker. You only get these credits if you complete the stage with your shields maxed out. This creates an awkward situation where you're torn between playing aggressively or farming for upgrades. It's not the most elegant solution, and it can lead to some pretty tedious gameplay. Speaking of tedious, let's talk about the length of the stages. Some levels can drag on for up to 17 minutes. That's a long time to be white knuckling your controller, especially if you die near the end and have to start all over again. It's a design choice that feels more frustrating than challenging. On the plus side, the enemy variety is decent with some truly impressive boss designs. However, the game has a tendency to spam the same enemy types for extended periods, which can get really repetitive. One major disappointment for hardcore shmup fans is the inability to play with an arcade stick. For a game published by Konami, a company with deep roots in arcade gaming, this feels like a missed opportunity. Despite its flaws, Signy does have its moments of pure brilliance. When everything clicks, when you're weaving through a sea of bullets, blasting enemies left and right, and the music swells, it can be an exhilarating experience. It's just a shame that these moments are often overshadowed by the game's more frustrating aspects. Signy All Guns Blazing is a game of contrast. It's visually stunning but mechanically flawed. It's ambitious but often misses the mark. For die-hard bullet hell fans looking for a serious challenge, there's definitely some here for you. But for more casual players or those expecting a more balanced experience, you might want to think twice before jumping in just yet. Signy isn't a bad game by any means, but it feels like a missed opportunity. With some tweaks to the difficulty curve, upgrade system and level design, it could be something truly special. But as it stands, it's a beautiful but flawed entry in the shoot-em-up genre. 